Ten. Tisk. And is now going to be going up against Trey Five. Winner semifinals. That's winner side of top eight. Tispai is guaranteed fifth or better. He's been there before, mm -hmm. but this is a chance to make a really big run after sending the number one seed of the bracket into losers. Now let's see you fight against Steve. You know, Tispai, like me and him talked beforehand. He was like, yeah, I had a rough, se rough season and all that. But like, this would be one heck of a night for him if he was able to accomplish, you know, what few people have. Mm -hmm. And he is going for all of it right there. Holy cow. He is trying to go for one heck of a start to this game, McBenedict. And honestly, you know, I feel like Ike actually has a pretty decent amount of merit against Steven. This is actually kind of what Steve wants to do is build the blocks horizontally more than vertically because Nair just deletes all the blocks if you build them in a tower. Yeah, that's something I would have never really thought about as far as like, you know, the Ike and Steve matchup. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness gracious, at the ledge. It's, it's important. The biggest and most important thing for Steve is to have resources available to him, particularly diamond and iron. Uh, you know, if you want to hear more about that, you can go check out a video that I did voiceover for him. PG stats, you know, if you just want to learn a little bit more about Steve or stick around here for now and watch Trey 5 versus Tispai and learn some more about the matchup. And the can, block! I like it! You can already see, Vic Benedict, that it is an even game and it could be a lot better for Steve if Trey 5 is able to keep his distance, but it's tough to do that against Ike sometimes. And interestingly, and this is something that's really defined Trey 5 as a Steve player, I feel like, is that he loves to box with you up close. Oh yeah, we saw that in the, uh, the set before that they played on stream versus, of course, Skits, where like Skits would beat them up the first round, and then like Trey was like, "Oh yeah, let me put on my boxing gloves, mm. really." Uh, he did put on his recovering pants though, <laughs> and was not able to make it all the way back. No, and that's giving Tespai a big lead here. Yeah, this it, it, it takes away a really big advantage for Trey Five. I mean, especially throwing away a stock as Steve is so disastrous because you need to be able to have Diamond on deck to perform as him, and you're taking away a whole stock of mining. You got to mine 99 times in a game to get three diamonds, approximately, on most stages, and you're taking away a lot of ability to do that. But Trey Five not looking worried about it at the moment. He's built up some good damage on Tispai. Now the question is closing out the stock before the pressure's on. Yeah, at 97%, like, as you brought up before, he doesn't have diamonds, so at 97%, Tispa is working with a little bit of rage right now. <laughs> so the next big confirm might not lead to death, but it's going to scare you. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're in the corner, something like a Nair can lead to something big. Four throw for sure, force that high recovery out of him. But Tispai hanging tough. I mean, especially when you have the lead is like in getting the you know, control the pace of the match, very important, especially on a big stage like PS2, where it's hard for somebody to put the pressure on you. With Trey Five, like I said, he loves to get up close. And now we go to last stock with a diamond in his pocket. Oh man, that diamond in his pocket might not mean nothing. Especially if he's not able to touch the darn table. Tispai has been on him, like wide on right, almost caught out the roll there. And Tispai had the right idea. He just misspaced himself. Spot dodge and then caught the timing with the back air. Trey Five barely hanging on though. Oh, That's yeah. his last iron. That's the last of all of his bars. Yeah, he is working with, with practically nothing. If he can get to the darn table, he's been trying to this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs to get the Ike off stage or something so that he can mine, or rather craft. He needs to mine and then he needs to craft. But now that he's crafted, it might be Trey Five's game to win, McBenedict. Ooh, a back air should be able to take it with this much rage. He's throwing out all these buttons. And Trey, and not Trey, Tispai going up with the Tispai dash attack. You crazy man. Oh, oh my god. As you said, the Tispai dash attack, but great DI by Trey Five. Either the team then can do it by four they will absolutely do it right there for Tispai taking game one. Boy, did it end up a nail biter. Oh my god, I hate Tispai. What is up with these dash attacks? Why do you have this much of cojones on you, man? Because he hits them. You called it the Tispai dash attack, and we call it that because he's known for hitting them, not for whiffing them. <laughs> that's, a, that's a different thing. He definitely, okay, to, to his credit, I mean, uh, I, guess, I guess to his discredit, I should probably say. He did whip a couple of those, but that did, that did not deserve him at all. He was like, you know what? I'm going to hit this. You you don't want it to hit, but I am going to hit this. And Tispai, the man, making the big calls. He is up in the game of winning so much fun. But this is a best of five, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a potentially long set. I'm going to be a short oh, set, depending on how this goes. Best of five drop all of top eight? For winning so much finals, I'm seeing best of five. Unless I I'm think in it's line supposed to be best of three. 
Yeah. So that means this is best of five. Yeah, this is best of five. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. I sometimes things change. Yeah, but yeah, 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 I know, I know. That man. that doesn't change tonight. So yeah, best of five, like you said, plenty of time for Trey Five to make some adaptations, but uh, I think the biggest one that he needs to make is just find a way to set the pace and mine tons of resources. That is the biggest thing that makes Steve function. Being able to throw out those iron tools, not even the iron tools, the iron items, the hunks of metal. Yeah. Like that mine cart and the anvil. That's super, super important. And I like how Tispy just stood behind the, you know, stood behind the blocks. He wasn't really too aggressive to the point where, like, you know, he could get hit with a dash attack mm. or anything like that. Tispy is playing this very, very smart. Yeah, I love the distance that Tispy. What a man! Like I said, he does not miss them. The Tispy dash attack is the dash attack that hits, and there it is again. He's got the lead. What a man! The cojones on him. He pays his taxes and stuff. <laughs> this pie is a grown dude right now. The, Don't have these dash attacks. The biggest reason he's landing them. Normally, the reason that this pie lands a lot of dash attacks is he's anti-airing people as they land and calling out aggressive landings. Just like that's the most aggressive landing you'll find with yeah. an anvil. Yeah, that's as big as it gets. So Trey Five evens up the game, but Tispai has been calling out Trey Five's retreating movement with those dash attacks where he's trying to go back, mine some more resources, which is traditionally what you want to do as a Steve, but Tispai's picking some really good spots to throw out those dash attacks. Oh, actually it's the grab there. I'm actually really surprised. Uh, let's see if he gets the landing here. Okay, also just go for the left trap. Interesting, yeah. Trey Five's been using a lot of the elytras to escape from, as you mentioned, the ledge trap, which I can do really, really well because those aerials don't have a ton of end lag, which namely that infamous Nair in there. Oh my god. Another dash attack. Just buy dash attack. Put it on a shirt. I'd buy the darn hat. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> the, the, the TDA. That's, that's Travis Darno for all of you <laughs> baseball enjoyers out there. Uh, yep. Anvil at the ledge on that door block. Very scary, but not at a very high percent, so Tispy is able to live. Oh, that and was a great recovery from him, but still the, the ability to cover that as well with the upbeat. That was so smart from Tispy. Yeah, I'm loving the way that he is playing around the ledge, but Dre5 getting some resources down throw just to make some distance. I think I enjoy that, but again, Steve ledge traps can also be very terrifying, but nice call out on the jump back to center stage. That's one of those things that you'll look for a lot on Hollow Bastion is people trying to fully send their movement to try to get to that middle platform. Yeah, get to the safe place. Woo! And wow, speaking of a safe place, that block really helping out. At 150, he should have been probably dead, but doesn't matter. And 68% now. Oh, oh committed. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. The patience, <laughs> I love it, from Trey5. And now, lots of resources in his inventory. He'll have to use them on his last stock, though, because Tispy, the nicely spaced forward tilt, able to even up the stock counts. But Diamond certainly going to be looming at some point. And Trey5 definitely making some distance as he gets back to center stage with that minecart. And once again, Steve Ledge trapping. Oh, we'll put himself in the corner, though. Oh, Tispy, oh, no. what are you He's doing? Not, okay, okay. He, was, he was going for the game, Nick Benedict. That's what he was looking for. And he might just have it right here. This is looking very similar in a reverse manner mm -hmm. to that game one, and it ends up being just the same. Trey 5 pushed into a little bit of a corner momentum-wise, but does end up sealing out the game in which he had the stock lead. Yeah, I, if I'm Trey 5, I'm going to recognize a little bit of the fact that he's been kind of like, the Anvils have been doing work. They have definitely caught Tispy buffering options. Like, you know, of course, the, uh, the, the shield and, of course, buffer grab at that moment. Mm. And, like, both those times they whiffed, and both those times he definitely got punched for it. So I would kind of keep that in the back of my head a little bit if I'm Trey 5, especially yeah. around the kill percents anyway. Yes, yeah, certainly at the kill percents where he's connected to quite a few anvils, not at kill percents, but of course, yeah, if you can find the right moment to toss those out. I mean, that's the same thing with the Tispy dash attacks, right? Mm -hmm. Is that, yeah, you can probably find more opportunities to hit them, but with a move that has risks to it where, you know, Trey 5, hold oh, on a second. Oh, you're dead. Oh, well, you're I living. Thought, I thought you were talking about Trey 5 for a second. Dude. <laughs> no, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of people that were possibly dead at that moment. <laughs> Pause, Chip. Oh, no. Oh, oh, here's Trey 5. He's going for the Steves have some kind of name for that. I know Yanni posted it on his Twitter where you're doing the, the jab, the forward air, and then you lead it into death or something. But regardless of whether or not he killed this play off of it, 91%, you're never going to complain about. Yeah, I mean, the, there's a big difference in percent here. And at this point, he's got the out of shield to deal with like at this moment. Mm. And using that powered rail to just bust open a little bit of space and great air dodge onto the platform there from Tispy and there getting himself some stage control with that dash attack. Now, oh. big stage control pushing Trey 5 into the corner. Oh, the down tilt? I actually forgot that move had a hitbox, actually, the uh, the up B coming out from mm. Trey 5 to get back to stage. But, oh, gets at the air dodge there, too. 
And Trey's been using a lot of that Elytra off the ledge and doing it once more. Wow, I'm surprised he did not die for, <laughs> for jumping out of that minecart. But the up B, once again, the hitbox coming out and that dash attack not getting possibly the sweet spot of that. Oh, up B though will certainly do it on that platform. Tispai will draw first blood in this game three. And now we're going to see that it's interesting to see how the spacing evolves. Maybe on a later stock though, as Trey 5 does have the power of rail to take out that stock. But it'll be interesting to see how that evolves from Tispai, how he plays when the game is more even versus when he has a lead, because I feel like that's been changing a lot for him. It really has, and he's been fighting from you know the back end a, a whole bunch, and we're seeing that as soon as he gets a hit, runs right away. He's like, I'm not dealing with less trapping you or anything like that. You've been pretty good at that type of stuff. Let me just go ahead and uh, you know force you to engage me. Trey Five now stuck on the platform somewhere that Tispai can certainly choose his engagement, choose his Ooh. battles. That's damage, and he actually hit him back into the minecart. So crazy. Now Trey Five, he's got the diamond, and he is going to be able to mine quickly with some good tools. Oh, can stay up here there. This could still lead to something great for Tispai. Ooh. Oh, oh that, that, that wasn't great. <laughs> that movement mix-up was so nice. Dude, Trey Five is so tricky with these blocks. And I feel like sometimes it's to his detriment where he's just kind of throwing out blocks that don't do much, like the single ones on the stage. But also sometimes the movement mix-up is just so nasty, I have to respect it. <laughs> oh my god. Hikes <laughs> do not block at ledge. <laughs> they do not hold defense. Oh, what a call out. You just got smashed for that drift in. And that's what I'm saying, right? Based on the stock count, I feel like Tispai is playing a lot differently. Where if he had a lead, he might have been spacing a little bit further away and sort of forcing the Steve to come to him. But now it's all Trey Five's game. I think he's putting down that block to stop the quick draw as well from going into center stage. You know, actually, great observation there, Kimona. I was not actually thinking about that. Uh -oh. oh, that's Steph. Oh, no. No, he didn't have a, he didn't have a pickaxe. It was gone. <laughs> he literally just punched him. Tispai was blessed there. <laughs> he's literally just punching him. He's, he's on him. He's, he's giving him the smack. I'm a, 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 a Shoto, actually. He's an Apex player, and he just pressed three. You're about to get smacked into the corner. Still has no items on, on deck at all. Oh, but Powered Rail getting him back closer to the stage quickly. This will be the stock. Trey 5 down to his last stock. Tispai pushing for a comeback, but Diamond Tools, that means you take one aerial and you are dead if you're Tispai. Yeah, and also, okay, yeah, it doesn't really matter back here. Oh, no, you're not. Ike is a man, okay. and still Levin. Sour spot. Yeah, he got hit by the splash hitbox. Even the sour spot forward air will do it. They fist bump because they think it's the best of three, but it is a best of five. It's so a best of five. <laughs> Every, everybody in the crowd was just going, no, sit back down. <laughs> I dang it, he hit on the knuckle bomb and like, Tispai stayed there too. He was like, I don't know where, you, where he's going. Tispai was water? like, he t yeah, sure, mid set fist bump. Yeah, that was a good game, I guess. <laughs> where, where are you going though? He it, looks so unenthused. <laughs> Tispai does not look happy here. It's about to get hit with the fist bump. Trey Five Trey is Five looks off. very happy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's up a game. If he wins the next game, then, you know, that, that's a pre fist bump and everything's all good. You don't get put on, you know, the eat smash. But if he loses this, Oh my goodness, that's the never great. premature pop-offs. <laughs> Top 10 most unfortunate pop-offs of all time. Well, Trey Five, as he said, only needs one more game to go into winner's finals of Shockwave, which I don't think is a place he's ever been. I would not doubt it, but Shockwave has a crazy history on it. Yeah. I, I'd believe it if he did. 94% again. He oh, blocked he got himself. himself! He blocked himself! That is the saddest SD I've ever seen. And Tispai with the amazing zero to death. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely cooking in this first stock. <laughs> now, Trey Five, how do you recover from that? I mean, that's, jokes aside, that's so sad because you have all of your plans. And this is what I was talking about with Trey Five, right? He, oh, okay. I, I don't feel like he has as solid of a plan of what he's doing with the blocks as a lot of other Steve's do, which is great for having movement mix-ups, right? He's very unpredictable. But on the other hand, you have a harder time playing around your own setups. But working out for him OK. He's evened up the stock counts. And now 62%, something that Steve can easily make up with one opening. Yeah, but the thing here, too, is that Tispai has been playing great with a lead whenever he gets it. Mm -hmm. He's uh, He only messed up the lead one time and ended up being the game for him. But now that he has it, I feel like Ooh. he's going to go nuts with it. And he just might. Trey Five dropping a couple of combos that could have been huge oh. if that reverse hit up here. So nice from Tispai. 
He says, I am up two stocks to one, and I am looking nicely poised to go into game five, but look at this ledge trap from Trey Five. Yeah, at 70%, anything could happen to him. Well, he rolled Ooh. there. I'm surprised that last part of the down, down smash did not cover him. It was perfectly timed from Tispai, and now Trey Five parry on the quick draw, but nothing further to do with it. Now Tispai's opening. Never want to be on a platform against the Knight. Yeah, that sword covers pretty much the whole nine yards. Oh, oh, there's that nair. grab. That's going to be it. Tispai, wow. two nairs and an up air. And he takes full advantage of the gift he was given at the start of game four. Like Benedict, we are going to game five. Uh, unfortunate game five for, you know, Trey five. Unfortunate game five for Tispai, though. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the main thing that I'm getting from this set anyway is that, like, if you get one of these characters get the lead, it's, the, it's like it feels like it's almost over for the other one. Because, mm -hmm. like, Steve, as great as a character he is, he doesn't really want to approach. And as far as, like, you know, hitboxes go, Ike has got him beat. Mm. You, you have the range to play around Steve, particularly when he doesn't have iron available to him. And that is something that has been somewhat of a problem for Trey Five, and it's a problem in this matchup. It's not due to him necessarily playing the matchup incorrectly, but maybe now he'll get more or less of a chance. Tispai going to the Aegis for game five. This is a big risk, so we'll have to see if this will pay off. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with this, especially since I just like literally won your last game. Granted, like there's an SD involved as well. I wonder if this has to do with the stage, but I feel like Ike would be pretty good here. Yeah, it, it might be the stage thing. We don't know. <laughs> that, that's a thing. It's, it's so <laughs> devilish because if you neutral get up, or if you, I believe also if you jump off of the ledge when that block is there, it will disappear and then just drop the anvil in you. And oh. there's just not a whole lot you can do. Oh, living. Living. It's not quite over for Tispy yet. I mean, we saw him with that cool zero to death on that last talk, or the last game, I should say. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we're going to make a comeback here. And he has the character to make that type of comeback. If he gets Steve at ledge, guess who's coming out? Yeah, the Pyra's coming out. We'll have to do so at least on the second stock. Trait 5 building up a very nice lead here and getting quite a bit of iron to boot. <laughs> They're both just spamming their frame data. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> uh, d doing what everybody in this game does best, which is use obscene frame data. You said it best. Oh, man. He's not being able to get out of this corner. Finally, he's able to make it out of the corner there. Gets it down there to the out smash. Oh! Oh! He had the read, but he didn't run up forward enough. That extremely accurate hitbox of that up smash. Don't look at ultimate frame data, please. Oh. Does not come through, and Hollow Bastion's tall ceiling's not doing his piety favors. Does catch the minecart, something that he has not been punishing too much with the Ike. But that Pyra put in some work, and we are even on stocks. Yeah, it turns out more absurd hitboxes are <laughs> sometimes the better way to go. Gonna get yes. a little bit of a combo there, but once again, this character is usually more of the win neutral, not too much high damage as far as combos go. Uh, but you can make them stay in disadvantage for a long time. Does require a little bit more attentiveness from the player than a pure combo, but Tispy getting the game right back to even E. Oh, oh, get out of the way! way. <laughs> get out of the way! Don't stand there! He's playing with fire! They can't hear me, his headphones in there! Oh, <laughs> almost killed him! Oh, the Elytra again. Trey, is, Trey Vibe has been using that Elytra a lot, by the way. It's not just a playstyle particular to him, but it's because he doesn't have iron available a lot of the times, and he's using that Elytra in a lot of situations where he'd normally be using the minecart. Oh my god, what a risk on the house, oh. man. They're both just throwing out these big committable moves. Why? And the dash attack will oh, get the kill DI. because it's diamond. Yeah, definitely not the best DI. So Tispai on winner's bracket stock. Gotta dig deep, finds the forward smash. We are last stock. Game five. It's the game of everybody's dreams. Can Tispai make it to winner's finals? I feel like this will be a big deal for him. And he's playing absolutely absurd right now. Maybe I was wrong for doubting the, the Mithra pick. It's definitely, oh, wow. speaking of picks, wait, hang on, we might see the pick come out. 57% with those gold tools. Trey 5 has frame data on his side right now. Oh, the switch to the big one. Oh, oh. goes with a huge <laughs> read there. A little bit too much, of it, in my opinion. But now he's in the corner. Let's see if he can get out. The last thing hit up in there actually got him out of the corner. Good reaction to the anvil. Pyra is out. Down there could lead oh, into that a kill. Might be it. That's not going to do it just yet on Hollow Bastion. <laughs> Trey 5 barely holding on. He's got iron available. He's got the gold tools. But. Can he close it out with the ledge trap? Force oh. side B, but he hits him. Oh, the outsmash whips! The outsmash whips! And the up B whips as well! But good blocking there from Test Boy. Oh, oh, he gets oh my God! He's over. Trade five! Trade five with the clutch! Getting the conversion off the minecart. Spike with the pickaxe. 
He will take it last stock. It went crazy. Oh, But my Crash God. Steve will be in winner's finals. There's so many things. Did that up smash whipping? How did it whip? He was in the hitbox. He, I felt like he was in the hitbox. You know what? Takara, you know better than I do, of course. But my lord, what an intent. My heart can't take it anymore. I'm old now, man. I got gray hairs. Come on. Hey, you, <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> I'm uh, not trying to die here. <laughs> no, you, you said it, not me. Oh, hey, man. Goodness. After a set like that, I think that, once again, we got to take a breather. Maybe get... Uh, our wall slammed into. We also need to probably swap our commentators because you've been on for a hot minute. But McBee, always good to commentate with you, bro. I've it's missed this. It's always good to be here as well. Yeah. We'll be right back.